Today I want to do a flip through of the 180 days of social studies for sixth grade. We will be discussing civics, economics, geography, and history. These 180 day books are just that. They are utilized for 180 days. Each week has a different topic. So week one would be history, two civics, three geography, four economics, and then you're going to go back. History, civics, geography, economics, etc all through your 36 weeks. And you can see that there are different themes for these. So it is really good to go in order for this as well. So you can see that there are practice pages if you need that. And I highly recommend reading how to use this book because it is helpful. If you need to meet standards, it does show you the standards correlations. And then you can see each week is divided into the week and the day. So this is week one, day one, history. You read and answer three questions. So this is not meant to take a lot of time. Week one, day two, read and answer three questions. Week one, day three, you look at the graphic and then you need to answer the questions. This, in addition to the multiple choice answers, you also have something where you can say, that, what can you infer? So this is something where you need to think about it and then give the answer. Day four, read the chart, answer the question. So now we're having fewer multiple choice questions and more of the written response. Day five is study the image and complete the task. So you need to draw the wall painting and then you need to compare your life. So you can see that you're going to be doing compare and contrast, drawing, and then answering the questions. For week two, day one, we are moving into civics. So now we have ancient civics, and you can see it is the same type of format where you read and you have to answer questions. You'll have the questions, and then here's your short answer. So as you move forward, you can see that you will be getting into more of the short answer and then fewer of the multiple choice questions throughout the week. And then we go into week three. Week three, day one, geography. So you're reading and answering those questions. And then day two, reading, answering questions. Day three, you study the map, then you answer your questions, and you have your short answer that you have to give again. So each week is based on the same type of format with regards to answering the questions um, and then also your short answers. Here's economics where you're doing the same type of work. So for the whole year, you are going to be doing the same type of work, but it's just with the rotating subjects. So here we're on week six day four for civics, week six, day five for civics, and then we go into geography. So we are back to geography again. This is for world as well as the United States. You're going to have ancient times as well as current times. So here's the empire of Alexander the Great. So it is very diverse in the different information that you're going to have. We're back to history. Here you do have the Ten Commandments, and it does talk about religion on this one. You have Israel and then the Romans. Next, you get into week 10, day one. We're back to civics. And you can see, talk about governments throughout the world, Nazi Germany, Iraq, and China. And then you're talking about the amendments for the United States Constitution. On week 11, we go back into geography. And you can see just the types of information that you're going to be asking your student. You're going to, here's a Venn diagram that they will need to be able to understand how to read a Venn diagram. And then they have to compare and contrast the city states of Athens and Sparta. So they will be completing their own Venn diagram. For week 14, we're back to civics. And again, here's Russia and the United States. Then when we get into geography, here's the United States. And then we talk about general climate, what it's determined by, um, influenced by, the effects. And you can see economics, which is week 16. So here's advantages and disadvantage of, advantages and disadvantages of a command economy economies of communist countries and then by week 17 we are back into history 
then we have civics again and again so now we are into week 19 so we are over halfway through this book and you can see we're still having the same basic format for day one of geography for week 19 you read the text you answer three questions day two read the text answer three questions day three you study the map you have one question to answer and then you have two short answers then day four here's two questions one short answer then for day five you have to mark this map based on this map so again you're it's, it's the same basic format okay now we're at week 20 day two you have three questions day three one question two short answers day four one question two short answers and then day five this is a why question. What kind of economy would you establish and why? Then we go into week 21 for history. So as you can see, this is just the same basic format as it rotates throughout the various weeks. At the end of this book, you will have the answers. So the answers for the different um, weeks are here in your answer key. So for day one you can see where it just had a circle and answer then here on day three this is where you have your short answer so it says responses will vary but may include um, food was plentiful there was a wide variety of foods available and so you can see most of these it says responses will vary so there are times where you, where you will need to determine if the responses do answer the questions because they do have responses will vary they also a lot of times where it says responses will vary but it says may include the following so responses will vary but you need to make sure that you do include a specific information and so this is the answer key for this 180 days of social studies for sixth grade at the very end you have a political map of the united states you have a world map then you have your response rubric so this is for you to be able to help grade if you need to provide a grade then you have a practice page item analysis so um, record how many multiple choice questions the students answered correctly so this is what you need to be able to help with your grades again item by discipline if that's something that you need to to track and the last page is digital resources so there are digital resources that you are able to access from their website